Let us light a candle and begin with a five wounds prayer of Jesus while taking refuge on the foot of the cross. We kiss the wound of your sacred left hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred side with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We pray for the intentions of our Blessed Mother, and we also ask her for graces for each of our personal intentions. The most important thing is to live every step of this novena with a generous loving heart, with a living faith and a deep recollection. We take a moment to acknowledge our faults and ask God's forgiveness. My God, I'm very sorry for offending you because you are infinitely good, infinitely kind, and you hate sin. Forgive me by the merits of Jesus Christ, my Savior. I resolve by your holy grace not to offend you and to do penance. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Flame of Love United Hearts of Jesus and Mary The love that unites the holy hearts is infinite. The Eternal Father spreads the spirit of love of Jesus and Mary over humanity. If we love Mary, we love Jesus. A mother's heart is always united through time and space with her children. Let us ask God to love the united hearts of Jesus and Mary with all the intensity of our soul. Love me even more and with greater fidelity. Do not tire of hearing my continual complaints. I complain much my little one, because so few listen to me. I complain in vain to my consecrated souls. They do not enter into the intimacy of their own heart. If so, they would hear my laments, how greatly I need to tell them, how to promote the coming of my kingdom. Do we pray to the united hearts of Jesus and Mary for consecrated souls? Do we frequently console the two hearts of Jesus and Mary with our choices for love and charity? The flame of love of the united holy hearts of Jesus and Mary gives new meaning to our lives. Do we spread joy, enthusiasm, and love to ignite the hearts of those people around us? We will attend Mass for the holy hearts of Jesus and Mary on the first Friday and Saturday of the month, as we are able. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King, and our Admirable Conductor, You who shine with excellence, 
and superhuman virtue deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. O God, who by your ineffable providence is deigned to choose St. Joseph as the husband of your most holy mother, grant us, we ask you, that we may have for an intercessor in heaven the one we venerate as protector on earth. Amen. St. Joseph, you sought refuge for the Blessed Virgin in Bethlehem. Help us to seek refuge for her flame of love in the hearts of all people. Amen. Give and consecrate to the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, my person, my life, my actions, my pains and sufferings, so that I may be unwilling to make use of any part of my being save to honor, love, and glorify the sacred heart. It is my unchanging intention to be all His and to do all for love of Him. I renounce at the same time with all my heart whatever can displease Him. I therefore take you, O Sacred Heart, for the only object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for the faults of my life, and the secure refuge at the hour of my death. Be then, O Heart of Goodness, my justification before God the Father, and turn away from me the punishment of his just anger. O heart of love, I put my confidence in you, because I fear everything for my own sinfulness and weakness. I hope for all things from your mercy and generosity. Destroy in me all that can displease or resist your holy will. Let your pure love impress you so deeply upon my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. May my name, by your loving kindness, be written in you, because in you I desire to place all my happiness and all my glory in living and dying in very bondage to you. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, ever filled with kindness, show us your love. May the flame of love of your heart descend upon all men. We love you with all that we are. Instill true love in our hearts, that we may have toward you an unceasing devotion. O Mary, who art meek and humble of heart, remember us when we are in a state of sin. By means of your motherly and immaculate heart, heal us from all our spiritual ailments and deficiencies. Grant that we may always seek the kindness of your motherly heart, and be converted by your flame of love. Amen. Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, your love of God and your love for us, your children, is such that you offer us to your divine Son, Jesus, on the cross, to obtain forgiveness for our sins from the Eternal Father, and thus obtain our salvation and for anyone believing in Jesus, not to perish, but obtain eternal life. It is with filial trust that we beseech you, Blessed Mother, with the flame of love of your Immaculate Heart and through the Holy Spirit, to inflame in our hearts the fire of a perfect love for God and all men. Help us to spread this holy flame to all people of goodwill so that the flame of love may extinguish the fires of hate all over the world. And Jesus, the Prince of Peace, may be our King, front and center in every heart, in the sacrament of His love, on the throne of our altars. Amen. I made this prayer entirely mine. He meditated on it so many times with me explaining that these were his eternal desires. He taught me this prayer 
so that I would teach it to others. Let us make our own His eternal thoughts, His ardent desires, with all our strength and with all our spirit. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. We kiss the wound of your sacred left hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred side with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.